Good morning, welcome to sound sharing, Sunday sound sharing. And this is a Memorial, Memorial Day weekend. And we thank you for all your sacrificing, your service, your devotion to the world, to the nation, to the country, and to the Mother Earth. And also thank, for, thank you all the light workers continue to uh, one step at a time and uh, marching forward to help the uh, Mother Earth ascension and then to increase the vibration and uh, frequencies of uh, uh, humanity consciousness, human consciousness. <coughs> so, first thing first, since I started to print out my prints, artworks, so I want to show a couple of a cl clear, closer look so you can see better. This is a belief, it's on canvas, and I print it out 12 by 12. And this is a balancing uh, masculine, uh, divine masculine energy with a metatron cube, and then uh, combined with uh, the flower of light, uh, divine uh, feminine, feminine energy. So you can see it's a gold, gold color and a silver color as a flower of light. And I also like this one. I use this one. I use the palette to uh, create this uh, uh, artwork. Uh, I didn't know what I was doing until the end. I, and then the, this uh, name came to me is a vision quest. So it's very interesting uh, abstract painting that I have. And this is one of my uh, flower of light on canvas. Also, this is a print out. This is very, uh, very Christmassy because of the color red and the green. So, okay, I just want to show those four of those. I do have a lot more, so it's very interesting. Please uh, contact me. Uh, down below at the common area. And also, please, uh, if you are new to us, uh, new to this channel, please subscribe, okay? Because uh, uh, we put out the sound sharing, uh, flute play, sometimes we do drums. Maybe sometime we do more drums, you know, outdoor in Mount Shasta, something like that. Uh, so today, Take a deep breath. So come, 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 come down, calm yourself down, and then uh, clear your mind. And then, you know, so we can have this uh, uh, sound bathing uh, session together. Help you to focus, help you to calm, help you to uh, relax. So what I was going to share, what I'm, what I was going to share, uh, is that interesting. Maushasa sent people in, and an interesting conversation. One thing led to the other. Two ladies, Japanese ladies, uh, they have di they have lunch next door, Japanese restaurant, and then they just uh, pop in, and then they were looking at the crystal and talk, and then uh, one thing led to the other. So. Of course, I feel like uh, I need to tell them about Mount Shasta, so I did. And I also uh, mentioned to them that be there's a Japanese uh, artist who uh, lives in Mount Shasta, and then she got her own uh, gallery. It's a blue star child. So uh, we've been friends for years, you know, uh, back then. I think it's uh, 11 years, uh, 2011, so almost 12 years, so that, that's good. So uh, I, I uh, so we have an interesting conversation and then I show them these uh, singing bowls. And then one of the lady, she is actually a hypnosis uh, practitioner, but she does not do that for a living, but she would like to uh, utilize whatever she learned from other classes, other technique, 
and then combine. So we have an interesting conversation and uh, I kind of uh, channel, you know, some uh, valid information for them so uh, they can be more clear on this uh, spiritual journey. So that was wonderful and then she, she laid, she lay her eyes on my blue singing bowl used to be here, okay? I told her those are not for sale. At the beginning then, I, she just, I, I can feel like she really wanted. it. So, and I, I just gave in, I said, okay, you can have it. So uh, that was an interesting uh, experience to me because uh, Spirit kind of uh, hinted me this way, like, okay, okay, you you send a prayer out to the universe, to the spirit that you were thinking about upgrading your singing bowls, you know, and I totally forgot about this. And like uh, three, four months later, you know, uh, the spirit just sent some, 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 you know, some people in and then, you know, one thing led to the other just like the, uh, my original RPs uh, about six weeks, seven weeks, about two months ago, I happened. So I guess it's also a reminder of me that letting go, you know, um, so letting go of, uh, you know, whatever belief you have, whatever uh, uh, thing you want to hold on to it. And then so I can, I can create more space, free up more space, that uh, there will be more new energy, uh, higher vibration frequency is gonna come in. So with the different uh, sets of uh, combination of uh, tools or things I'm using. So I think that's kind of uh, uh, the uh, direction I'm heading toward to it. So, you know, slowly you will get this going and then, uh, so it seems like uh, I, I've been, I've been uh, very busy, you know, this past few weeks, a uh, couple weeks. So I, I do feel like uh, more energetic, uh, energy wise, and, you know, feel like I want to do more, more things and I need to do more things. So that's great. So uh, very important that in our life, that this is what, if you, if you, uh, lesson, your inner guidance, your spirit guides, you know, the spirit, the, the universe, then you were, you were like a, uh, putting the puzzle together one at a time, you know, then you can see the clear picture or the direction that you, you're heading to, your soul mission, uh, those kind of things. So this is my real life uh, experience I share with you. You know what happened this past week uh, and then what I get out of uh, those uh, interaction with the people what message I got it you know so I share with you so hopefully this kind of information will help you to uh, you know kind of uh, think of yourself in your life daily life you know the messages and symbols and uh, uh, sign that keep coming to you but you know, do we uh, pay attention on those kind of thing? You know, but you can do it as long as you uh, center yourself on a daily basis. Then you know, not much outer world because all the outer world is all the reflection of uh, reflection of a part of your inside. So. So that's interesting. So uh, interesting uh, interaction I have this this uh, past week that in the store, you know. So and I'm grateful for it because you know it kind of uh, uh, keep me in line on on my path, keep me on the, on my spiritual path. That you know this is a way that you know we don't control anything. We don't. Uh, we don't make anything happen. We just turn over and then surrender to the spirit, and then just uh, do the prayer and then focus on what we, what we can do, and then not focus on what we cannot do or what we cannot have. Okay. So I think that's enough talking, and uh, 
now we're going to play some flu, I guess. Well, this just came out. So. So if you like, uh, take another deep breath and close your eyes. We're going to start the flu today, my hummingbird flu. And if you've been to Mount Shasta or if you saw the uh, picture of Mount Shasta, just uh, visualize it with your inner, inner eye, third eye because we'll, you close your eyes right now and take another deep breath and breathe in the beautiful Mount Shasta energy by visualizing the picture of the mountain with a white, uh, brilliant white, uh, pure white snow covered and then charge up your entire body including all your favorite uh, body feel and breathe out all the frequencies or uh, energy not, no longer resonate with you, no longer working for you. And take another deep breath, breathe in the uh, brilliant white pure snow energy from Mount Shasta, and then breathe out all the energy, the uh, frequencies, vibrations no longer resonate with you. Okay, take a one more deep breath and do the same thing. Breathe in the brilliant, pure, white snow energy from Mount Shasta and then breathe out all the way. All the energy vibration no longer resonate with you. Okay, and then visualize uh, you're bathing with a white light, golden light, Right now, you're, you're protected inside of a white light shield and a golden light coming down from the uh, grandfather's son and uh, Mount Shasta. Focus on your heart, focus on your third eye. <coughs> and we call in all the indigenous uh, families and uh, shamanic uh, family, energy, vibration, and then come forward and then protecting us, supporting us, and then assist us throughout this entire uh, flu play session.
Take another deep breath. Now we're going to have a little singing bowl session. We ask uh, masters, angels or archangels or guides come to support us already. Assist us with this uh, singing bowl vibration session.
think my uh, Pulu uh, slap his uh, singing bowl, even though, uh, you know, not here, but when I play the other, this bowl, these bowls, that uh, I can feel the energy coming back from the blue singing bowl. So, uh, for so many years service with me, you know, uh, for me. So, uh, I'm grateful for that. But now, uh, and then, uh, it's good, good to uh, also have someone else to share uh, the blue singing bowl's vibration, you know, they can, they can be benefited with it. So slowly, I'm uh, eventually going to, you know, replacing, slowly replacing all these set. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And then I, I'm i not the one to gave in so easily. Actually, she is the third person. Over the past about nine months, the season, the first one was a guy, Chinese guy, uh, about nine months ago, he really wanted I, I just couldn't, you know, because, uh, I mean, they've been with me for a long time. And then a few months ago, another also a guy. And now I remember doing a play this, this section. I remember actually they both are Taurus. I don't know why, what's the synchronization of that. But I forgot to ask the lady, Japanese lady, what kind, what sign is she? You know, but anyway, it's okay. It's kind of like a, like a joke, but... That's why three times a charm, I guess, you know. So uh, yesterday I was just feeling like uh, uh, guided and to let go. So I'm not a person gave in so easily. So you have to understand, not like, okay, somebody wanted, you can just have it, you know. So that's that was the third time, uh, Friday, not yesterday, Friday. So that's pretty good. Uh, take a deep breath. And then slowly you can come back, or you already come back. That's okay. And then during uh, uh, when I was playing the uh, uh, hummingbird flu, I got some uh, uh, visions, you know, like uh, images from uh, places in Mount Shasta. And one of them is a Pluto's cave. So maybe next time I go up there, uh, not maybe. It's a definite. I need to go visit that place. Uh, haven't been back for a long time, you know. So uh, I guess that was a reminder of me, but I believe that through that play, when I have these visions, you're also receiving the energy from Pluto's cave. If you've been to a Mount Shasa, if you've been to Pluto's cave, you, you know what I'm talking about. If not, it's okay. Eventually, you know, if it's meant to be, you, you get to go or get to, you know, see the place. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's it, any other things? Okay, so please uh, subscribe, you know, hit the like button and then subscribe. So every time I post a video, you will receive a notification or in the email, and then you can join us, uh, our Sunday sound sharing and other content as well, podcast, a Chinese edition. And then, you know, I, I started to do that this, this past week. So, which is good, you know, so we have more content coming out with Linda, my super co-host, Linda in Mount Shasta. We're gonna do more things together. Uh, and then we're gonna share with you, okay? So subscribe and then hit the like button. And then we will see you next time, okay? Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.